I hope this is on. Yep. Hi folks, this is your old pal on Cloud. I can't see too well. I'm kind of blind. I don't want to wear the sunglasses. Then I can't see the damn screen. I've been baking. And see that? I got it done perfectly. A perfect loaf. Okay, I still can't figure out how come it comes out yellow, but I think it's the duck eggs. But look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it? Perfect. Now, I use this instead of my potato starch and regular wheat flour and other stuff i use something special this time for the bread see how it rises really nice you know anthony uh, palmetto preparedness, preparedness knows we like to bake i have that really good guess what's the ingredient i used hard tack hard tack this is really soft bread, you know, I <laughs> can save two pieces. My nephews and nieces tore into it and they said it's like cake. It's really soft. It makes great sandwiches. I use hardtack to make this bread. See how nice and airy and light that is? <clears throat> Trick is, it's already been baked twice. It has salt and water. What I did was I pounded the hell out of it with a hammer. Put it through a grinder, you know, hand cranker, and I got a fine flour. And then I figured out, I add a little sugar, some yeast, and some other stuff to make it rise. Put it into a steamer, not an oven, a steamer. Put it in a glass baking dish so I get a perfect rise out of it. And after my timer went off, I got this. See how beautiful that is? Okay, a lot of work, but remember I keep telling everybody why you have five gallons of hardtack? So, you can make bread, stupid. Okay, instead of breaking your teeth. Okay, you make soft, wonderful, eatable sandwich bread. Alright, I only got two slices left. I had a full loaf, I was going to show a loaf, but they tore into it. I love my grandnephews and nieces. You don't help, but <laughs> I love them. And they make sandwiches and, and they really enjoy it. That's what counts. And also I have to tell people, I voted. Okay, it's real important that you have to stop the D word party. I won't say who they are, but we know who they are. Okay, and this confirms it. If you can see that, I vote Republican because every time a Democrat comes into office, something wrong or bad happens to me. I'm tired and I'm damn sick. All right, I will uh, survive through. I have to take my paperwork to my doctor because the fax was down. Thank you, stinking technology. So I voted for conservative and Republican. I know these people. I grew up with these people. Okay, it's hard. Everybody lies. If you watch DOE and I forget who, um, Harper Logic about the scams that's going on. I told you this a long time ago. <sighs> okay, and this isn't a scam because Uncle Al has no, I got to put my finger over it. See that? Well, that's all the money I'm going to make this month because I'm going to be laid up for about two weeks after the surgery because they're going to do two and laser and operation. So I'm not going to be feeling too good. Okay, that's a check for $25. You have to go, go online. All you need is a cell phone and a laptop. Okay, if Uncle I can make $25 for 10 minutes work, you know, that's easy to sit down. It's a secondary job, all right? 
<clears throat> if you keep it below a certain amount, like $3,000 a year, and I tell this to a lot of people, that's how you get your $2,500, you do this kind of work online. It's really simple, and I got to do a video because a lot of people are looking confused and like going, Gah! Yes, I insult people because Uncle Aunt's tired because I was pruning trees where they stopped me, my family. I told them, this is how you prune the trees. Now you look at the other side and you tell me the difference. And they always says, you know, even the old guys who older than me knows, I, because I learned from them, and they say, yeah, Uncle Alan knows what he's doing. And we see young kids with the power pruners. I'm like, oh, God. You know, Uncle Alan's sick and old. I did that all afternoon. <coughs> My Spanish isn't bad, but we all crack jokes about the millennials. <laughs> Those old guys are still around. We still work. And they say, hey, come on, have a few beers and take back cats and corvetas. And I said, nah, I'm going back home. I said, thank them and I headed back home and my nephew drove me back. He's always worried. He also, he grabbed three slices of bread. So he got smaller. And he says, Uncle Alan, you're better in the kitchen. So I'll stick with the kitchen. Okay, remember, always store away five gallons of hardtack. Easy to make. You go see any other channel, don't eat it in its, uh, what you might call it, survival state. If you do that, you end up with no teeth, see? Like Uncle Al, because Uncle Al learned the hard way. Now, I'll give you recipes for different things you could do with hardtack, but this is the easiest thing. Make bread out of it. I'll catch you later. Uh, see, Anthony, I finally got it right. Isn't that beautiful? Later, folks.